Welcome to this new series, How It's Made. My name is Adam Hughes. I'm an application engineer here in the Ontario office in California. And today we're going to take a look at how we can vacuum form using 3D printing. So without further ado, let's go take a look at our 3D printing lab. Come on in. Today we're going to be looking at how to use 3D printing for vacuum forming. Here we've printed our molds, or a couple of different molds here. We have one out of polycarb and one out of ABS. They're both printed sparse, so they're hollow on the inside, which allows us to pull a vacuum. Here we've tried this out once, so you can see that we have some really good um, form here. Maybe a little more heat in some regions, but uh, you know we're going to teach you how to do this. So what you'll need is a 3D printed uh, mold some sandpaper to post process this to make it smooth. That way we don't see any of the uh, rastering lines in our uh, vacuum form. You also need a hot glue gun or some super glue so that we can take the vacuum form and then glue it down to our uh, cardboard to ultimately hold our surfboard bottle opener, fins, and hardware. So let's take a look at how we can do this. Next up, you're gonna need a vacuum, some sort of shop vac works really great. Um, the 3D printed table is absolutely necessary, so make sure you get one of those. The torch, um, and maybe an extra canister if yours is half full. Uh, and some vacuum forming material. So here we have some PC and some um, ABS thin sheets. These are 020 sheet thickness. And then lastly, the vacuum forming machine. So this was a homemade uh, device. It's got a little boot in the back for the vacuum. Ice chest, the lid's cut off. This holds the plastic in place. And then this allows the air to draw through and not pull our part through. All right, so I have everything set up here. Torch is ready. All I need to do is turn on the vacuum. Now, I know this isn't your typical vacuum forming machine. Uh, this is kind of just a makeshift uh, you know, machine to, to show the functionality. But here I have the, the sheet in there and uh, we'll get started. So that's a little challenging with one hand, but now we can see that we have our vacuum form component. I'm going to cool it down with the exhaust from the vacuum, and then we'll, uh, we'll pull it apart. So I let it cool, and uh, it's about 10 minutes now, and we should just be able to pop this thing out. Oh, there it goes. There's our vacuum formed blister pack. Now what we need to do is cut it and trim it and glue it. So that sums it up. We, uh, we finished our little project. We made our blister pack for the surfboard bottle opener. And in case you didn't realize, this says Solid Oak World 2018. So anybody who makes it to the Go Engineer Company event, uh, you know, you might have a good chance of winning one of these and taking one of these home. This is Adam Hughes. I hope you enjoyed this session of How It's Made. Thanks for watching.